<laughs> but but I mean, hey, if you're doing this puzzle, it's good to know that there's a backup where you can like, yeah. take it apart and if you can really get stumped, right? So I'm just interested to see what the actual mechanism is. I am too. I actually am too. Because it doesn't feel like anything. So it's 75, three quarters the way to a hundred. Yeah. Go back to episode 74. Yeah. Like, yes. comment for your chance to win a cast key two. Yeah. And congratulations to Kelsey. What's her last Kelsey. name? Kelsey. Kelsey, I don't know. We she, got it here. She won the uh, Butterflies Revenge and just, just got to send us her address to go. Cool. Info yeah. at Puzz. Info at PuzzleMaster.ca. Puzzle Master. Puzzle yeah. Info at PuzzleMaster.ca. Yeah. Okay, so that's that. Uh, so that's episode 74. They can win that on. Um, let's see. Anything else? Uh, nope. That's the housekeeping. Okay, let's just jump in. Which one do you want to do first? You just pick one. You grab a box. Okay, We've I'll go with two, this one. Two I haven't boxes. seen these, man. I saw them come in, but yeah. I haven't actually uh, seen what's in them. Now, you know what's cool? These are new, brand new, from our brand new designer. We've never had them on here before. And you've actually probably seen them on our show before. I don't remember which episode it is. But um, we talked about these puzzles, and uh, Puzzling Time did it. So that's the one of the, the puzzle guys okay. on YouTube. So he had talked about these puzzles. We had seen it, uh, and then we ordered them on PuzzleMaster.ca. S so. Spinning tumblers. Yeah. So these are ordered because we we showed them Whoa, on our episode. Oh, did you see that great unveil? Yeah. Oh, you got a cool. different... Cool. Yeah. So it's uh, by Phil Wig Wigfield. That's the guy who designs these and makes them. Uh, he is, uh, his company is Metal Puzzles UK. They come in this box. I, I thought the box is cool. It's like this uh, like velvety stuff. It's like, it's really padded. And uh, I thought this was a really neat box. Good packaging. Mm. So let's uh, pull the boxes out, set them aside. Um, so there's two of these today. We're going to be doing two. This is the first one. This one's called... Is this spinning? Uh, spinning tumblers. Spinning tumblers? Spinning tumblers. Thanks you yeah. for purchasing spinning tumblers puzzle. Yeah. Each is handmade. Um, some machines are not able to do polish. Yeah, they're, they're handmade. They're not, it's not CNC. Like a lot of these metal puzzles are made by a CNC. This one's handmade. Like he, he does these like just on a lathe or whatever and just spins it. Please be aware that once the puzzle is completed, small parts may fall out. Yeah. We hope you enjoy your purchase as much as I have enjoyed creating it. So, yeah, they're brass. This is all brass. Um, Do you know how to solve this? I don't. No. no? I watched Puzzling Time's video. Uh, he doesn't solve them. He just kind of talks about it, kind of like what we do. But uh, we can try to solve it. He said it's blind. Both these puzzles are just kind of like a blind whatever. Oh, okay. You can't actually see what's going on. You just got to feel. It's all by feel, right? So there's nothing, okay. like there's no external hints or clues or some of these puzzles, like they'll have like little arrows or something you line up. Mine doesn't have that. Yours has something that knocks on there. Weird. It's a pin. There's gotta be pins. Oh. Yeah. Well, it's called tumblers, right? And a tumbler, so I, I feel like this is almost like a lock. So one side's gonna come out. And it'll yeah. be like a key, like where you almost have to like line up the tumblers in. You gotta find which one to start with though. Yeah, exactly. So it's all by feel. This is a hundred percent like just by feel puzzle. You're gonna mm. feel what's going on in there. So both both ends spin, but this end spins easier. Hey, look at that. Does one of your ends spin easier? Yeah. So like let's say that that one's at the bottom. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it's some sort of. Okay, here's another. You thing. can kind of see the pose. Does one of your ends feel heavier? This end on mine feels significantly heavier. Maybe it's just me. 
Oh, no, this okay. this end this end feels heavier to me. This feels like where the pin is, man. Like go back and forth like this, hey? Like kind of rock it back and forth. Can you feel like? Uh, maybe I'm imagining things. I don't know, but it's hard. It's I find heavy, it really yeah. hard with these blind things. Like, like, what do you do? But I think one end comes out. You can kind of see the pin on the one side. Can you like when you like when you open the crack a bit? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'd say this is the, like, I, I think it's going to be like a key and you just got to line these things up. So I, th I think this is the key end because okay. you kind of pull on it. This, my, this one end feels a little more loose. I don't know. All right. That's interesting. I'm cool packaging. That. Has anybody no, solved no this? Does it, do you know if anybody solved this one? Not that I've heard of. Um, no. No? No, I don't think so. All right. Yeah. Well, if you do get your hands on this, shoot a video. Yeah. We need to see how this thing works. Absolutely. Cool. Okay, so that's spinning tumblers spinning from tumblers. Phil Wigfield of Metal Puzzles UK. Okay, now on to the next one. I think this one actually, this one, for me, this one's a little more interesting, I think. Sticky Barrel. Thank yeah. you for purchasing Sticky Barrel. Your aim is to remove the stainless steel stick from the barrel. Mm -mm -mm. There are two cool. small, so this is, this is what I thought was interesting in this one. There's two small screws in the base that you can take off to see the inner workings after you solve it. Huh. So again, those two screws made out of brass, but this one has a bit of stainless steel on like the rod is stainless steel. Um, I have yeah. to get the rod out. You have to get the rod out. So, uh, yeah, it's like, it's almost like those butter turns, eh? Like it's like a butter turn. But yeah, now, what do you notice on this? I, I noticed, okay, first thing I noticed is that there's there's a, some definite weight on the end of the stick, right? Yeah. Like you can feel it, even when you spin it, you can feel like there's weight there. Um, there's the screws, so you can see the screws on the bottom. Let's see if this will focus in, there we go. So there's two screws on the bottom of this that'll take it apart. Oh, look at that, there is a break, look at that. You can see just a little, hairline crack right along here where that it really did that's polish your bottom well. yeah really well polished nicely nice finish on this man these, these things are heavy too I should say that about the other puzzle too they're really like heavy puzzles yeah i don't know again this, this is weird so uh on puzzling time he again said like this is a, a blind puzzle i mean you know there's no clues externally has he been the see. only guy to get this I don't know. He solved both of them. He said he what? didn't solve them on video though. So he definitely had solved both of them. Okay. Um, he said they're fairly hard. Like it didn't sound like ex extremely hard, but they were fairly hard. Um, do you think it's magnetic at all of any kind? It sort of feels like this is sort of shaped like a, like an Allen key. So do you think, do you think it's maybe just something in there where you got to get it into a groove where it like holds it and then you can like spin untwist it and then the, the thing comes out i don't know could be yeah i was even thinking that maybe it's not going all the way down and for you to get it all the way down the ending move is actually going to be a turnout mm, maybe you know? Yeah. you know like what if it's only within this part of the cylinder and you have to figure out that last little yeah maybe was there a mark on you what's that there's a three. Isn't that a number three on yours? That is a number three. That's not on mine. Weird. Must be some manufacturing process. I don't know. Maybe there's special markings, but yours definitely has a number three like engraved in there. Yeah. Hmm. Didn't get all the way polished out. Or maybe, maybe this is like from, these are made from like recycled material or something. And there was like a three engraved on it. Could be, could be. Could be. I don't know. But this is weird, man. It is. It's really weird. It feels like nothing. Like it feels like, I don't know. This is, this is one of the ones I think where it would be helpful to make marks on the stick with like a, like a marker. Yeah. yeah so you yeah. could see Just like, oh man, maybe it's like coming like out here. further. Like, yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe it's going to come out further or maybe there's things at certain points. I seen, I think it was Chris that did that on a puzzle. He was solving like this where he, he marked where things were. And so you could like, see if it's coming out further because otherwise you, you're not going to notice it right like unless it's pretty drastic. do you uh do you want to grab a screwdriver let's take it apart <laughs> i don't want to do that 
We don't want to ruin it for people here, Tony. Mm, mm. We can do that afterwards. But, um, yeah. Should we move on? Interesting. Okay. So that's, I mean, new designer, I, th I always like when we get these in and it's something really unique. I feel like each of these designers has a bit of a different spin they put on, on stuff. So I, I like, I like the idea of getting, um, yeah, getting stuff from different guys and seeing yeah. some, what, what's their ideas, even with packaging, man, this is like, it's good packaging. We've talked about this before, how sometimes the puzzle's good, but the packaging's mm. not. I feel like this seems like it's a good puzzle, good packaging. Packaging solution design. Yeah. yeah. So there you go. Phil Wig Wigfield. Um, I like these. Hopefully we see more from Where's him. Where's he from? Uh, I'm actually not I sure. I don't know. I should have looked yeah. that up. Should have looked that one up. Yeah. Yeah, I oh, know he's from the UK. What am I saying? UK, I did look okay, that up. Okay, yeah, yeah. He is a UK designer, and there's a lot of UK designers coming in these days. I feel like they got smart people out there. They do, they do. So, on to the next thing, Tony. We have done these stereograms, 3D eye puzzles before. We've got one here. Um, yeah, this is from an artist named 3D Imka or 3 Dimka. I'm not sure. It's on uh, deviantart.com and there are lots of these. So if you like these things, you can print them out. That's what we did. We just printed oh, this one Oh man, out. I feel like I can almost do it better like looking at the screen. Can you? Oh. Hold on. This one's, uh, yeah, see if you can get it. I don't know. But it's a, it's a girl licking an ice cream cone. She has like her hair braided down the side. But um, yeah. <laughs> no, nothing. No. Tony has trouble with these. I do. I've gotten good. All I see is these little M&M &M characters. Yeah, I've practiced a lot and I feel like I've got it. I mean, you know, like, you know the idea, right? You focus on like, yeah, yeah, I got you. And you're focusing behind and you gotta like trick your brain and then it creates the image. Let's see, where can I, can I get it? Oh, I'm having trouble getting it now. Whatever. There it is. We'll put it up on screen for you so you can like pause the video, check it out. Um, I'd also just go to deviant, deviantart.com and uh, look up 3D Imca. So there you go. Cool. Those are cool. Stereograms like them. They're fine. Now, online buzz. The online okay, buzz. Tony. <laughs> ready. I'm embarrassed for us a little bit here. Okay, ready? Um, yeah. On, I believe it was episode 72. Uh, we we did, we talked about Oscar and Dave Inter having this. Is this the lock nut thing? The lock nut thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we should have looked when that came out. Came out on April first, I think. Okay, so it's April Fools. I we see. got April okay. Fool by wow. Oscar. So yeah, it's an April Fool's joke. Remember, we were like, Fair "This enough. doesn't really make sense," but he was raising money, and I'm like, "I don't get what this is." They were like, "Aren't these just screws?" <laughs> exactly. I guess they were just screws. We are just <laughs> idiots. So Oscar got us. Um, that's his three. Well done. All right. Uh, April Fool's joke. Uh, you know how I figured it out. Puzzle guy commented on our video. And Sweet. He told he had to tell us. So Keeping us informed. We like got double fooled. So I mean, let's not be surprised here that Puzzle Guy is smarter than not us. Not the first time <laughs> I've been tricked by the internet. Yeah, and it probably won't be the last. Um, nope. Funny thing, uh, April Fools' wise, uh, there was one that came out here that said like some tiny town in in Canada was going to be getting like a Disneyland. Oh, cool. A Disney World, and so Disney was going to like expand in this tiny little nothing town whole bunch of people fell for it. Wow. It was pretty funny. So we didn't do April Fool's this year. We should have, we should have tried to, to do that, but I guess we're uh, just not smart. <laughs> we just, we didn't just get even fooled by the holidays. Yeah. yeah. So congratulations, Oscar, you fooled us. Actually, you know what we shoot on Thursdays? I bet you it just didn't land on a Thursday. So we just didn't put it together. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? Okay, let's move on. We're, uh, we got fooled. But next, uh, I was on Facebook and there was a guy named Tomas Vango, Vanyo, Vanyo, Tomas Vanyo. Cool. Uh, just a designer, puzzle designer. Um, he makes his own stuff. It doesn't look like he makes them. He just makes them for fun for himself. He had a really cool puzzle. Now it was called my, now he's Hungarian. Okay. I yep. should mention first off. So his, uh, the title of this, this, this pictures he had was in Hungarian and I had to like Google translate it and it called it my Kazad, Kazad river, K H A Z A D river. And what it was, it's a, it's a bird puzzle, but it's a really unique bird puzzle. Now he had a frame, um, and it had like square pieces cut into a square, like a square maze almost cut into mm -hmm. it looked like. And then he had these building pieces. Uh, it looked like a it was square. It was a building and it had a, like little hooks or something on the bottom that fit into this um, base. Yeah. And then 
each of these building pieces was different heights, and then they each of them had a, a hole cut into them that a, a marble could run through, or, or in this case, a steel ball bearing. Okay. And what the idea was that you would create, you'd put these all into, like weave them into the base, and then they'd create this like multiple levels. And then in the top one, there was a hole that went straight down. And in the bottom mm -hmm. on the shortest one, there was a hole that came out. And the idea was that you had to create, put this bird puzzle together, nice. drop a marble into the top, and it would run all the way through to come through and the come bottom. out the bottom. I'm like, nice. that's a really unique, nice. unique twist on a bird puzzle. No doubt. Um, so yeah, check that out. Uh, there's a whole bunch of these designers, man. It seems like Facebook is kind of the place where a whole bunch of them congregate, um, often centering around, I think, this um, puzzle friends group on Facebook. Yeah. We've talked about them before. Yeah. So go there, check them out. If you want to really get some of the, the guys doing like cutting edge design stuff um, that have been in the puzzle industry for, for decades. So yeah, to Tomas Vanio. Tamas Vanyo, T-A-M-A-S, I don't know. Check him out, um, go friend him on Facebook. <laughs> okay, next, Torsion Puzzle, Tony. We I found this Torsion Puzzle, it's a Kickstarter. Right on. Um, I think it's a bit of like a twisty puzzle, but it's different. Uh, and we've got stuff like this, kind of a Puzzle Master here, but this one's all made out of metal. Imagine a metal spinning top almost. Like it looks like a top where it's like okay. beat at the yep. bottom at the top, and there's marbles that run through it. So uh, what you do is it, but it twists sideways yep okay so you know the top you have a, a ring with marbles in it and the bottom you have a ring with marbles in it when you twist it it makes one complete s shape through the whole thing and the marbles okay. can move there's four different color marbles and red yellow green and blue and you got to just or organize the marbles so all the red ones are tight all the green ones together uh, okay then, yeah yeah and then when you twist it back so it's like the two rings the marbles are there it's on kickstarter check it out it's getting a lot of people um looking so yeah. uh it seems like they got a lot of support check down out neat i don't think we'll ever have it here at puzzle master but it was neat it was kind of like a twisty puzzle but yeah i am not a huge of the twisty puzzles but uh, it was interesting so torsion puzzle on kickstarter and then last but not least uh dave janelle on uh youtube dave janelle is uh, i believe the guy behind creative craft house or at least someone shooting video for them this okay. is kind of creative crafts house house's channel they had a neat puzzle nothing crazy but it was these three pieces that looked like, like they're shaped almost like like that um i don't know if you can see that there it's like a weird kind of like a little curved like square and uh it was a it's an optical illusion i don't know how it works in your brain but he, he put the three of them side by side and looks like big medium small Mm -hmm. And then he like moves the big one to this other side, and then that's the small one. And it's this weird optical illusion. Weird. It like messes with your brain. It has that was not the puzzle. Yeah, and they're exactly the same. All three of them are exactly the same shape, exactly the same size. But Just your, your brain, brain, for whatever reason, determines it as small, medium, big, and huh. it's, it's left to right. Really crazy. I thought it was interesting. So if you guys want to find out some of the stuff that Creative Craft House is doing, go check out J Dave Janelle's channel, and. Uh, this um which is larger video yeah. which is what i watched so this one was a golf one specifically so cool yeah they, they apparently they can customize them too so if you wanted to like get those and get custom stuff put on the thing you can just have yeah kind of a neat gift for someone so yeah that's the uh that's the end of online buzz that was it eh that is it yeah cool. there's some different stuff we're, we're trying to like always find new things right so yeah yeah, anything else, Tony? People can... Uh, no, I look good. Head over to the last episode, of course, so like, comment for your chance to win a Cast Key cast 2. Key two. You can is. like this video, subscribe, comment. We check our comments. We yeah, will reply we to you. Right. Um, on that note, someone did ask again about our 100 likes challenge. <laughs> really? We are... We're literally three likes away. So, I mean, I'm just going to throw it in there. I know Tony hates this because <laughs> <laughs> it feels like a, a failed project and we have no snow anymore. I was just like, let it, let it die. Let it die. There. Hey, if the people are asking, Dave S, I think, asked about it. So. Dude, that means we have to wait another six months till there's snow again. <laughs> yeah, maybe it'll never happen. But whatever. If it happens, we'll do another 100 likes challenge. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. So, like us on fa Facebook. TikTok, Instagram, Instagram, web page, TikTok. We had a, a TikTok video explode, uh, kind of go viral. Uh, it has 400,000 views, 30,000 nice. likes. It's on the heavy hitter. So we've talked about that before. Brass monkeys. Yeah, two brass monkeys. So uh, check out our TikTok. We have a video that's kind of gone viral. So 
that was kind of fun. That's pretty big, man. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's that's all we got. Thank you guys for watching. We're done. Cool. See you.